Well, guys, I started in northern Missouri. We got through Missouri fine. Came up through Des Moines, stopped at Carl Chevrolet in Ankeny, Iowa. Looked at a couple of Chevy trucks. Realized I can't afford any of those things. My gosh, I just bought a new Ford. Or a new to me Ford, of course. This high boy. Once I left Ankeny, I went through Marshalltown and then Waterloo. And I stopped at John Deere in Waterloo. And I had to take a look at some of those new tractors. <laughs> Even though I just bought like two new tractors. Uh, but those will be delivered soon. Anyways, we're in Iowa. Welcome to Iowa, boys. Yeah. McGregor, Iowa. Where we're going to spend the next 80 years. Maybe, potentially. This town, McGregor. They got an Applebee's, a Wendy's, city office. What else we got around here? McGregor Market, okay. That's where we're going to pick up some meat. Wells Fargo. Let's see, we got a BP gas station here. Oh my, I don't even want to look at those gas those gas prices. Got a little hotel, motel. If any of you guys want to come visit me. And then we got a John Deere. Now, as I was going through Wisconsin, I was kind of going through Wisconsin on our way up here. So it was a weird route. It was a really weird route. And, uh, but there's a case dealer up in Wisconsin too. So if I need any case, case has me. And as you guys know, we bought a Massey. I don't know if you guys watched the last episode, but we got we got a Massey Ferguson. 4,900. Pushing about 260 horse. I think it's going to be a monster for us. Now, if you guys are wondering, well, where, well, dude, where is your equipment at? Right now, uh, it's getting trucked here. I got to go back and get it, basically. I want to drive the truck here. I want to purchase our land, talk with the realtor, get some land bought, and then start building before we get our equipment here. That's really what I, what I wanted to do. Now, if you guys don't know, this is this highway. I've been doing a little studying on uh, the old maps, pulled out the old maps, and... Uh, this is Highway 18. This is the main highway that's going to run me through McGregor here. This is the highway that everybody's going to be using. And then from there, it's just... Now, I do have a farm picked out. I've been through this area, and this is a little tour of this area. I... Now, guys, there's going to be there's gonna be a little side notes here throughout this video. First of all, side note one, number one, smash that like button. Otherwise, get off the gosh dang video. No, I'm just messing. But uh, please, it would seriously help across the cities. The, the series... If you guys smash that like button, uh, man, it'll help the views a lot. And if, if, if this just gets to be a really popular series, I'll just do every episode on this series. But I got to make it entertaining for you guys. You know, I got to have uh, fun stuff. Rule number two is this may not be the most realistic. There's going to be times like gas prices where gas prices are $3.60. And everybody's going to freak out in the comment section and be like, holy crap, why are gas stations $3.60, $3 you know? Uh, also, there's going to be a couple sheds that, well, they look a little newer than the 80. And I'm trying to push away from that as far as possible. For example, my buddy Fred over here has some of his equipment stored in these sheds. And, well, let's just say Fred's a pretty rich man. So he's got some brand new sheds, nice sheds that maybe you could say were a little newer than the 80s. Which we won't take a look at too often. But there you go. There's some pretty nice sheds. There's a nice shop in there. I'm, but that's an example, guys. You're just going to have to deal with them. I'm sorry. We, we really try to do our best on them. But as always, feel feel free to roast me on anything. It's okay to make fun of me. It doesn't really hurt my feelings. Everybody's making fun of me for my like AR and stuff. They're like saying the AR is a lot newer than your pickup truck or whatever. I understand. It's all good. So this is a piece of property that is up for sale here. There's a, there's a lot of different... There, and guys, there is a lot of different fields around here. And they're perfect size for the size of operation that I want to go into. So that's why I'm really excited for this. But the only thing is we don't have a farm set. There's farms all around. There's a farm there. And it's, heck, it's a heck of a view through here. Um, now, these this ground around here is actually for rent. Some of this I, comes with the property. And stuff on the other side is for rent. So we can rent some ground too. Uh, pretty much Don Fred only owns those buildings. He doesn't own any land around there. So these fields, these fields are available for us too. But... My thought here, let me pull up my map. I gotta run to the truck and grab the map out of the truck. So here on my map, you guys are gonna have to play with me. You guys are gonna have to go along with me for a little bit. But here on my map, I think the acreage, we're gonna stay with the acreage. So when I say I own 27 acres, you can see area down here. I own 27 acres. I bought this from the realtor. We helped me out, but there's some ground around here that's actually for sale across here. Uh, so these fields are for sale. These fields are for sale across here, which isn't bad. Now, this ground was just bought by uh, Jake over here. So there's a lot of ground we can buy. But what I'm trying to get at 
is I think this is where I'm going to build our farm because I want to build it out. Uh, I don't want to start off with a farm. I want to build it out. Like So that's, that's kind of the goal. I don't know. It's going to be a challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge coming in here. But as we look over this, over the years, guys, this is going to be crazy. We're going to expand. You know, we're playing 80s right now, then 90s, then 2000s. It's going to be absolute crazy. So as always with these builds, guys, I'm going to jump into heaven. We're going to have some fun. I'm not going away. I'm not dead, but you know what I mean. Let's have some fun here. So I got some of the farm built, and I'm liking the way it's turning out. Now, that's a uh, a dairy operation, I guess. A cow operation, I guess. But I don't know if we're going to use that. We could always run the idea that, hey, we used it 20 years ago. haven't really used it since unless we have a, a 4-H cow we just put in there, you know, just keep them riled up in there. But, uh, but it just looks, it makes the farm look so much better. So that's why I put it in there. I want to change things up. I really want to go with kind of a little more... Even though some people may not call this run down, but I wanted to go with like a little bit of run down style, guys. I think, I think so far this is looking good. I love this that I did. It may need some more work here uh, with the rocks, but this is Northeast Iowa where it's it's kind of hilly around here, especially in my backyard, literally. Um, so I wanted to keep the terrain. I didn't want just a flat farm. Now here, I got a couple ideas with this. I found this old building. I think the guy was name was Brian on Facebook. Shout out to Brian on Facebook uh, that made this. But dude. This may be perfect for the old 80s style look we're going with right now. It may be a little too big because I want a couple of machine sheds, but old shop. This is what it would be. Ah, oh, it's going to be perfect. So I'm going to put, I got to find a place to put this out here and maybe we'll put it to the side. I don't know. Hey, hey, actually that looks pretty sweet. If we put like it to the side there and then put some beans because I want, I definitely want harvesters up and stuff out here. I want a quant. I'd love to have a quant set up. I don't want any of these newer buildings, though, you know? Um, but there's a lot of cool old buildings that I'm trying to go with and trying to work with. And then I even have, like, a little trail wrapping up along there. Heck, I don't even know how to use this thing. I don't know if we're going to use it. I want to get livestock, but we'll see. But I just, I think this is so, it's so flowing with the style of Northeast Iowa right now. And that's what I'm going for. <laughs>
man, oh man, oh man, we are getting somewhere. So, uh, obviously, as you guys saw um, what happened, so obviously you guys know the house is here. Um, now, we got this MW farm scene. I think it looks sweet. You know, it's going to be maybe more for looks. This fermenting style isn't put in the best use place. It probably should be put back there. It's okay. We can make changes because, yeah, it's the first time I've been on the ground, and, yeah, this needs... I don't know what I'm thinking here. Like, there's a drive over pit. It's just right here. It was almost for luck. So, that needs to be moved. Maybe we can put an older silo up there. I don't know. Um, but, this, we just have a utility shed. This is going to work good for implements. Pretty much all of our tractors can fit in here besides our Massey. Um, this is going to be a bale barn. If we do any hay, hey, we can store some stuff in here. This will be good. Um, it needs a little grass work yet. Right around there. But, uh, I thought it... Turned out pretty good. I was so, it was so tough to sign. Should we put this building in? And then, of course, we got the shop here, which this is the first time we're going in the shop. Oh, so we park our truck in there and everything works. I think if I can get that door open, what's it opening? It's opening something. Okay, never mind. We'll just open this door. It is kind of like two dimension, I notice, just a tad bit. But, dude, this is perfect for the 80s so here's our shop portion which just leads right here now one of the things i didn't want to screw up is i really wanted to go with a tight fit you want everything real tight you want to squeeze <coughs> you want to be able to squeeze your tractors through places you just don't want a wide lane it trust me it plays better i've made the mistake last series of making everything too wide this is perfect maybe a little too wide to be honest through here but i want to keep things wide and then we have a little back trail through here i'll make a little dirty messy if we end up needing to use this stuff, we'll store some implements across here. Implements will go back here. Um, implements can go back there. Then we have another back trail leading to the back of <coughs> back of that that cow area, dude. Oh, I'm I'm so pumped for this one. And then we just have cold storage in here, which is gonna be perfect. Then we have a door lead cold storage, and then we have I just said some tires outside, some barrels. I wanted it to look kind of junky, just a little bit junky. Now these beans, I think I may sell and turn around. We'll see. I need to figure out how this is going to work. Because I'm going to have an auger run out of here. Probably loan trucks that way. But then this side, I I don't know if I should have a road coming around these bins. I think I should. But it, I, I don't know. This field is just so perfect through. I think what I'll have to do is wrap a road around these bins. I hate doing it. But I think I'll, I'll have to do it. But man, I knew this was going to be a tough build. So far, it's turning out pretty good. I'm loving it. So far. Um, but we're probably going to plant, we'll plant all the way to like, we'll, we'll excuse this field over a little bit. We'll push it all the way to here and then work every, every bit of ground we can get out of this farm pretty much. Now the question is, guys, I need your guys' opinion. Do I put up bigger bins and more bins? I figured for the eighties, we don't really need that big of bins. Those are giant for the eighties and that'll do. That's what I was kind of thinking. Uh, this hill needs some work yet too through here. We need to smooth that out.
man. This has to be one of my favorite farm builds yet. Oh, man. I spent like two, three hours on this probably. And I just wanted to get it perfect. And honestly, I probably should have checked through it like three or four more times. <coughs> but this is cool. This is fun trying to build an 80s build. Oh. Now, some of you guys are going to nitpick. That's okay. I can take it. Um, there's certain things we can't get perfect. But, oh, 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 I love it. Oh, my gosh. So, this is the first time. The reason I'm crazy excited is you guys, you guys are probably like, dude, you've seen this for three hours straight. But uh, this is the first time I've been on the ground. I love the hill. The fact that we built this on a hill. So, as you come into the farm, I put this windmill. I wasn't sure about this windmill. I'm going to open... Oh, the wrong one. There we go. Open that up. Keep driving into the farm. Now, I wanted to limit our gravel use. Just because, you know, 80s, we don't want to have everything completely gravel. Because that's... I don't know. So, I changed that all to a dirt road through there. And I got to make sure I got my, like, tire width right. Because if you guys saw me go through there, I'd be like, tire width. I want everything to be pretty, pretty narrow, if that makes sense. So we come up through here. And then there I just put a tree, put some bushes there. Now like, this hay barn? Yeah, if we start making hay, I'll store hay in here. I gotta figure out how it works. But heck, we could we could store equipment in here too. That'd totally work. Uh, that ground is a little tad messed up. That's okay. But yeah, oh, I'm loving this. By the way guys, like, if you guys enjoyed this, please hit the like button. It, it like it helps out so much. And then we went through here. Ah, this might have been a little too wide with the dirt tracks, if you know what I mean. I might have went too, too wide here. Um, yeah. And then this is going to just be equipment storage through here. Other equipment storage shelter. It's kind of new. It almost looks a little too new. Too bad I didn't have any rust on it. But I can't do anything about this one because this one was here. And then I did end up switching the harvester to over here. It's got a brand new cat generator. I can't do anything about that. But yeah, if we need to fill this, I don't know. See, in real life, you can fill them with corn. You can fill them with whatever. My uncles that farm in real life, they'll actually store corn in there just because it's... They don't use it for cows or anything, but they'll usually store corn in there just for storage instead of using a bin just, just to make more space. So we got this little road that goes around here to the barn. I don't know if we'll do anything with this. I, the, the road could probably use more work. And then I actually made a road to the back of the barn through here. So this is kind of the road that tractors will go up. I felt like I was stuck there for a second. But yeah, it'll come up here. Ah, I might have went a little too wide on this. Yeah, we got to get a little more narrow. Okay, that's okay. But what's crazy actually is down there, Jake has a farm. Which I'm going to show in the next episode once we meet Jake. What's crazy? Okay, we probably need a little more of a ramp here. That's pretty steep. And back here, we put some more old harvesters. We'll see if we use these or not. I gotta figure that out. And then here, back here, we'll be like implement storage. That's why I kind of made it all muddy. We'll store implements or use stuff. And then around here, you can pull around to the farm. We'll have augers out here. We'll unload out here. I made this road just to kind of pull around through. I could. I, what I really should do is tighten up these roads a little bit, I think. They're a little too wide. And then over there, guys, that's a... That's Fred's farm, so we can't... Don't blame me if he has really nice shop and a really nice building that may be newer than the 1980s, okay? That's all I'm saying. And then in here, we got some tires. Check this out. I'll open this door. Here we can store more equipment here. We kind of got a lot of equipment storage. And then here's the shop. I don't know if there's a shop trigger or not, but man, this shop came in clutch because it came out like a day or two before, uh, before, or like... Probably like a week or two before we knew, uh, before we actually, before I record this. But yeah, this is perfect because this is an old shop. It's awesome. And we got our porch. Check out this view, man. This is fabulous. Oh, man, I'm so excited about this, guys. I am. I, I can't tell you how excited I am. And right now it's springtime. So eventually we're going to get to farming this. We'll probably actually have to just till up everything. Because everything's all withered and stuff, so we'll have to till it up. I'm going to farm most... Well, let me let me get the map out of the truck. Okay, so here's my my, 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 my paper map that you guys got to work with for a little bit. But here is... This is what I own. So I own this through here. 
Um, we own the ground here, the ground here, and then there's some ground in the back. But I'm also thinking about buying this. This is a lot of ground. I don't have to buy 16, 15, but 16, 17, and 18 would be perfect to buy. Crop over here is completely withered. So when I said 16, 17, when I said 16, 17, and 18, this is the ground I met. It's pretty big through here, but it's perfect. I don't want to expand any further than this through here. We got a lot of smaller sections. This is probably our biggest field back here. And then it takes us to another, another field back through here. So this is like pretty much all the ground I had farmed. And this is all I need. Trust me. I do not want to go big. I hate going big. But yeah, this is pretty much all the ground I had farmed. It would be perfect. We wouldn't own any of those fields up there on the, on the hill, like over there. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Dude, it means so much that you guys watch this video. Uh, watch the whole build take place. It is fabulous. Next episode is going to be getting our equipment from Northern Missouri that we bought. I got to go hold that in here. And man, once we get some equipment in here, it is going to be fabulous. This is, this is probably the most excited I've been for a series. Now, the biggest thing is, is just to continue the role play. Good. We built our farm just fabulous. I love everything about it. Just got to continue the good old role play. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.